So, seven years in Folsom, in the hall for three, MacNeil before that. I mean, it's MacNeil stuff, as they say. You looking to become a phonologist? <laughs> Are you looking to go back? That's the question, you know? I mean, I've chased down some crews, guys who wants to just want to fuck up, get busted back. I wonder, is that your kind? That's what you want to do? You must have worked some dipshit crews, man. That works all kinds. All kinds. Do I strike you as the kind of guy who's gonna hold up a liquor store with a Born to Lose tattoo on my chest? No, uh, you do not. That's right. Look, man, I'm never going back. They don't take down scores. Look, I do what I do best. Mm -hmm. I take scores. You do what you do best. Try and stop guys like me. So you never wanted a regular type of life? <laughs> the fuck is that, huh? Ball games and barbecues? Yeah, why not? Well, this regular type of life, what? Is your life? My life? I don't have the luxury, you know? It's, it's fucked up. I got a stepdaughter, so if I crazy, she's suicidal thoughts, you know? Stepfather is this asshole. And I have a wife, you know, passing each other to the downslope of a marriage. My second. I mean, all because I've chased guys like you around the block all the time. That's my life. You know, God told me one time, don't get attached to anything that you can't walk away from in 30 seconds when you feel the heat around the corner. So if you're on me, and you gotta move when I move, I mean, how do you expect to keep a marriage? That's an interesting point, you know? Or are you a monk? <laughs> no, I have a woman. You do? What do you tell her? Tell her I'm a salesman. Cool. So, I mean, I have this, this thing, you know, if, if you see me coming around the corner, right, if you spot me, you're just going to walk out on her? Just going to say the, goodbye? That's the discipline. Wow, that's pretty vacant, you know? Look, man, it, it is what it is, right? It's either that or we got to do something different. I don't want to do anything different. Neither do I. I don't, I don't know how to do anything different. Neither do I. You know, I have this recurrent dream. It's about me sitting in the banquet table with all the victims of all the motors I've ever worked. It was, they're staring at me with these big eyeballs because they have head wound hemorrhages, you know? There's also these big balloon people they found underneath the bed two weeks after they've been killed. The neighbors reported the smell. It's a weird dream, you know? They're just looking, staring at me. What do they say? Nothing. They don't have nothing to say. They're just looking at me. I'm no, looking at them. No talk. No talk. That's the dream. That's it. I've got one where I'm drowning. I gotta wake myself up and start breathing or I'll die. You know what's that about? Yeah. Having enough time. Enough time to do what you want to do? That's right. Are you doing it now? Not yet. Hmm. You know, now we're here. You know, just talking like a couple of regular fellas. You gotta be honest with you. If, if it comes down to the point that I have to put you away, I won't like it. I mean, I do what I do, you do what you gotta do, right? But if it comes to the point, and it's between you and some poor bastard whose wife you're gonna turn into a widow, you're fucking going down. You're going down. You know, there's a flip side of that coin. Let's say you do got me boxed in, mm -hmm. but I gotta put you down. All right. Because no matter what, I'm not letting you get in my way. We've been face to face, yeah, but I will not hesitate. Not for a second. All right, maybe that'll happen, you know? Who knows? Or maybe we'll never see each other again. Be lucky. <laughs>